first one is how will you work with people with disabilities and their representatives to ensure that the national disability strategy is implemented? In other words, that national legislation and policy that is to do with people with disabilities is translated into something local that is believable and understandable and relevant to all of you here in the room. And what will you do to remove the barriers to inclusion that people with disabilities are experiencing so that they can ensure they have an experience of real equality in Carlo and Kilkenny? So basically, uh, the question is about national policy and legislation, and um, it was referred to several times um, during uh, the candidates' uh, replies beforehand, but to make those tangible at local <coughs> level, and then what the barriers are that may militate against people with disabilities being able to access those services, goods, and indeed the promises. Uh, thank you very much, Peter. Um, very briefly, the was a submission of the Supreme Economic Statement uh, by Councillor Fitzgerald. Um, I'm going to be very blunt. Uh, mind you, the Supreme Economic Statement I was in front of democracy. Um, the whole legislative agenda was put to one side, and the government has taken an opportunity for three days to uh, congratulate itself. That's a fact. Uh, there was no mention of disability uh, in the Supreme Economic Statement. That's a fact. Um, Councillor Quinn uh, mentioned home improvement plans that are hugely assist, uh, assisting to, to individuals with disabilities. The reality is that the last budget, uh, new rules were introduced. Last January they were committed, uh, they were implemented, making it very difficult for people to access uh, basic home improvements that allow them to live dignified lives in their own homes. Um, that's another fact. Um, I've heard no mention of the Disability Commission. Uh, why has the government not established the Disability Commission? Uh, Ten years ago, uh, up to 10 years ago, uh, the government uh, advisory body uh, stated uh, that uh, individuals who uh, have a disability are at a significant, um, in terms of their income, 35% uh, of their income, disposable income, is spent on ensuring that they manage their disability. Uh, that's an incredible inequality that exists in our society. And the government is simply, not just this government, but the past government, has done nothing to tackle that. I believe setting up a disability commission uh, would provide us with a fantastic opportunity uh, to bring bodies like DFI and others uh, into uh, the government process to advise government, because politicians don't know it all. Uh, we're all standing here talking as if we have the solutions. I don't believe the established parties, unfortunately, after eight years of uh, progressive cuts, when they come now to a by-election and say things will be different now. I don't believe them. That's why I'm standing for a new party, and I'm a new candidate seeking uh, office. Um, in relation to barriers to employment, um, we have to, as a society, say that people with disabilities do face difficulties that the rest of society don't face in terms of employment. Uh, we have to ensure that people with disabilities um, are allowed to maintain secondary benefits, which I just mentioned, in terms of travel uh, and subsistence. They're very important to allow uh, people with disabilities access to employment. In terms of housing, yes, it's very welcome that the government has given a small bit of funding to allow 7,500 social housing units to be developed. But only 150, up to 150 of those units will be given to people uh, who are transferring uh, from institutional care into the community. Based on that statistic, it would take 20 years to get everyone uh, out of institutionalized care and into the community. It's tipping the hat to people with disabilities. It's not a credible law um, policy, and they need to wake up, and they need to say to themselves that equality costs money. We can speak about equality, but unless we have finance and we support uh, equ equal uh, opportunities. We will be here in 20 years' time, uh, and we will be speaking about it again. It has to be done now, and we have an economic recovery beginning. I don't believe it's been felt on the ground, but that economic recovery has to uh, first benefit the most vulnerable in our communities. I don't believe we, could, we, we should be, you know, I already, I've already seen the paper, uh, politicians speaking about uh, getting pay rises. <coughs> I respect anyone who seeks public office. I respect, respect politicians who stand up to be counted and put their integrity on the table. But I find it offensive that members of Parliament will be considered when elderly people 